And with that, I welcome you to the next episode of our little epic of Margrave Luther Uta II. In the last episode, the Duke of Westphalia, as he is to be known, has overtaken our rest duchy, which is, of course, very, very um, infuriating, the Margraviate of Nordmark. And he overtake Mittelmark and Brandenburg. Now he cannot usurp the title actually. I've looked into it and he cannot overtake the title because he needs the Duchy of or the um, County of Prignitz. And we can actually take Prignitz. The current Chief Gutschalko only has 1,040 troops. Um, and if he is in any sort of conflict regarding his territory, we could actually steal Prignitz from him and with that securing that we stay the Margrave of Nordmark and then our rest, um, our later generations have to worry about that. And also our wife just got the rash. This character has rash, itching and causing pain. A rash is usually considered very unattractive and could be sign of something worse. With that she gets of course minus fertility. Which isn't good. I would personally love to send and um, ask my court physician to do something. Well, we cannot really do that. And we could hold a traditional faction meeting. I don't want to do that. I firstly want to get my um, money situation now go right. And we are known to be the ill ruler. Hmm. As it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a sore throat. As it is tradition, my wife Hedwig underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Unfortunately, her mood has not improved by taking the Holy Commune. Perhaps something old sin is still waging on her soul. She must deal with her problems on her own. Oh boy, she's stressed now. This isn't very good. Uh, our knowledge of religious constant at Mark has increased to level 2. Interesting. Religious customs has just increased on its own. And we could also just increase the popular customs to get all of it to level 2. Also, I would love to do infantry melee techniques. Uh, siege equipment and military organization all to level 2 to be in the standard. Uh, yeah, Lunebook is even surpassing us. Count Amando of Pombia has joined the Prosperity Faction. Doesn't really care. Independence Faction has been disbanded. Prosperity Faction get another leader. Prosperity, Prosperity, Prosperity. Yeah, the Prosperity Faction is really, really influential. Yeah, the Glory Faction and the Pros- Oh no, the Prospect Faction is just a bit turbulent. People joining left and right. The Glory Faction under Mark Ward of Eppenstein is the most influential faction with five members. Yeah, we will see. Tradition fa We could also play a bit um, of a faction game to try to let other people join our faction. Let's see. Um, how can we do that? Recruit into faction. Can we also recruit him, our father-in-law? No, we cannot, sadly. But this guy, Count Buchard of Mansfeld. Is he a religious guy? No, he isn't. Let's search up for a religious guy. Can I ask you? Recruit into faction. Yeah, but you are cynical. I don't want you in my faction. This guy, Margrave Wilhelm of Meissen from the von Weimar family. He is zealous. I want to recruit you into my faction, my guy. You begin the journey to Meissen, hoping to catch Margrave Wilhelm at his manse. It will be the chance to engage the man in friendly discussion, hopefully convince him to join the faction. Yeah, I hope so. Even though we're right now quite broke and has had a little bit of a setback to uh, lost against the Luticians. Uh, the meeting with Margrave Willem of Meissen went well, so well in fact that he, by the end you were all certain that he would join your faction. Great. Well then, get in here my boy. Um... This is, of course, very nice because then our faction, of course, becomes more influential. And with more influence, we can actually, that I didn't talk about in the last episode, actually ask our leash that he gives us, for example, money, um, maybe even just, you know, brings us good stuff. Gerhard of the Valdnesian Uprising. Oh, yeah, we have a little uprising in here. A little... Catholic her heresy. This is of course something that he has to destroy very, very vastly. Oh yeah, and I have to make him a character of special interest. And of course make my wife a character of special interest. So I get um, a notification when something happens to him. Also, I want to know when he dies. This is mostly why I put the notification on him. 
Prospective faction gets... Ah, the Pope died again. No, that is sad. We only got him, Pope Adrianus IV, a second. And we got Pope Nicholas II. He is a German, actually. Oh, and what a Pope he actually is. He's a zealous guy, gregarious, craven, ambitious, just, trusting, and chaste, a master diplomat, and a charismatic negotiator. Now, this is a Pope I love. My god, that guy is a Pope. He could even rival us. Oh, no, he does. Oh, yes, he does. He's actually uh, more loyal to Pope Nicholas II. This is of what we have to change quite fast. Let's send him to improve the religious um, thingy thing in Ottendorf. No, no. Harasefeld. It has been some time since members of the tradition faction met. Yeah, we never met actually. Oh, Archbishop of Trier is actually also a guy with us. Yeah, let's send out the invitation to a little meeting. Adelwin of Trier. Arbitrary, content, honest and patient. Let's just meet up. Count Berthold that voted for low demands. Don't really care about that. Imperial, uh, yep, yeah, was been crushed. One by one, the lords and ladies of the factions assemble at my residence in Altmark. It is quite clear that the prevailing mood that the fondness towards Emperor Heinrich III has the things... And the things are going well in the Holy Roman Empire. It does. It is peaceful and we just crushed an heresy uprising. As the faction leader, it is up to me to address them and determine the agenda for the meeting once to come. Um, let's rally some support for the young Heinrich III. I've decided to rally some support for Heinrich III among the members of my faction. What should I do to strengthen the rule? Um... Assemble the Lords will vote on your proposal to show support. Financial aid. I don't think he needs... Oh, well, he needs it, actually. Let's propose a fina financial aid, even though we're not really in the position to do that. Ooh, we lose 20 gold. And everyone was for that. One by one, the Assembled Lords raised their voices to vote for the payment to financial aid to Emperor Heinrich III. At last, our votes were in and the proposal passed. And he gets some money from us. Which of course makes us makes him like uh, liking us, and we are friendly to him. Oh, the prosperity faction is actually very strong, even stronger than the glory faction. Uh, but they're also friendly, so the emperor has everything under control, which of course is good. I always say emperor. I would actually rather call him Kaiser. The Kaiser has everything under control. Now we need another child, dear woman. Uh, she's right now. Breastfeeding the child, probably. Yeah, breastfeeding the child. Yeah, we need another ch child. Now, Regenlid cannot inherit our titles. I'm also going to change our banner to the Germanic one back to the Catholic one. Where is it? Jewish, Jane, Crusader Kings, DLC, I see stars, Katha, Bogolomis, Coptic. Where is it? Um, Germanic, Tengrist. Did I also pass it? Crusader Kings, I see stars. Catholic, there's it. And probably just going to make it a, just like it looks like. Let's jump a bit further. Come on. Did I surpass it already? I want to make it this street, uh, three stripes thing. I actually like that design. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to search it off cam. Just uh, a second. Alright, I changed the banner to the same old one. This yellow and red stripes. Which actually reminds me. I don't know why I'm knowing this. Yeah, this reminds me of the county of Oldenburg. Makes sense. This is where our origin lies. But it's still a bit different. Alright, let's just let it run now. And see if we get another child. Would be great to get another known child. We got our bad buff away. Attempt to imprison Ulrico da Romagno. Hmm. Probably a banned the commoners in the dungeon. I don't even know why. Uh, yeah, the prosperity faction does his stuff. Emperor Heinrich III of the Holy Roman Empire has created the title of, that, uh, of Eastern Franconia. Interesting. He's now trying to he re re reassure his control over Franconia, even though he gave the control away to Rudolf of Swabia. Attempt to imprison Bernardo de Conti. 
Vatican outrage. Letters has been sent to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded a stop for the beatification of sinful people and revoked the rights for the rest of the clergy to do so. From now on, the grant of beatification will be given out by the Pope personally. The Vatican will no longer stand for more shameful examples like the wrongful beatification of Jarvis Iskradek in its name, a creation. Now only the truly pious followers of Christ will be granted the reverence of the faith. Yeah, he was blessed. And this has now been sorted finally, which of course nags on our Catholic authority, moral authority. Yeah, Pope Nicholas II, of course, changing some things. The von Battenberg dynasty. His um, his follower is, uh, is actually Cardinal Adam of Senji, a Croatian. Oh, let's see how this goes. Count Bernardo of Padua has been imprisoned. Yeah, nothing too fancy. How does our faction, the traditional faction, it again changed? Rambaldo and Alberto. A group of Hedgeniers have come to visit Nordmark. Bishop Siegbert has met with them and asked me to reply. Um, who are we? We tempered. I would say welcome them reductantly. We're not going to make a big feast. We're not going to be very... Um, elaborate about it. The Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tournament together with our Knights in Altmark. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. Mm. Now we are zealous, temperate. Yeah, we say he can stay at the ca um, castle until he fully recovers. Yeah, we probably have to recover our troops in Salzwedel. Yeah, let's send Lima there to reassure that. And financially, it looks great. Um, I personally would say, even that I want to move to Stade, because in Altmark you don't really have so anything. So let's move to Stade actually to get everything set up there. I mean, he's just one. There, just one castle. I want to upgrade it even. Maybe even make the castle walls bigger. Yeah, let's save for that and then change the focus on building stuff. Um, yeah, and let's let's let, let it run a bit faster. I think that's not going to happen that much. Um, when will this go away? In sixty-two. Improve relations with him. Great. You cannot do something different. Actually, I mean, now we are very very friendly with him. Which of course is good, but now I want to improve my relations with the Duke of Meissen, actually. Oops, did I did it? No. The Duke of Meissen, actually, to kind of surround uh, Dedo II of Lusatia. Because Wilhelm could help us. Not regaining anything, but, you know. And also, he could be a potential ally. I actually want him to be my faction. Our stupid Michael has collected a special tide. Tithe in Star uh, in Stade. Oh, this brings us further into getting the. Ah, oh, my father-in-law passed away. Duchy of Razia. Where is Razia? Ah, this little thing is down south here. Ah, wait, 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 wait. And Ordulf became now the new duke. My brother-in-law. Uh, first of all, let's make a non-aggression pact and let's try to recruit him in our faction. To begin the journey to Ravensberg, hoping to catch Duke Ordulf at his mans. Uh, yes, I hope that. Let's make it also a bit more this and let's delete all the smaller things. I have to rearrange this whole stuff. This is a bit annoying. And his brother actually got Lüneburg. And a lot of Lüneburg actually. Lüneburg, Rendsburg and Schaumburg. He's very, very strong. Oh, a bit more stronger even than Ordulf. Oh, that could of course change things. Yeah, let's first of let's at first make a non-aggression pact until I find someone that I can defeat him to reconquer Magdeburg and Mittelmark. The meeting with Duke Ordulf of Westphalia at Ravensberg went well enough that you managed to leave a good note, though he made no promo uh, promises about joining your faction. Well, it's a good start to give us a better opinion with him. Or what we can actually do to secure our own standing, we could declare a war to get Pregnitz back, together with um, Westphal Westphalia, basically Saxony. 
to the level-headed Margrave, Mark uh, Lotter Udo, may you live in harmony and contentment. I, Duke Ordorf of Westphalia, accept your proposal for an alliance. Great. So let's use this alliance straight away. Are our troops ready? Yeah, 600. Do we have an accordion before that? Yeah, we will delay the project of the um, walls. So yeah, let's just declare the first war, the Jury claim on Prignitz, and get our stuff back. Is he right now at a conflict? No, he sadly isn't. Then retreat to Lüneburg, actually, because I don't want to be run over by some troops. And also, uh, take him. Take him as a, as a commander, who's also a good commander. Well, not good, but Ludemann can help us. Lude. Okay, let's take those three. Us and him, the other two. And also... No, I don't want to change my focus. I want to stay on family to finally get a, get a, get a boy. I mean, we could also change to lust, uh, so to, to seduction and get some other lady. I mean, it's fitting. You know, we are a bit more private about it, but why not? Now let's call the army. Hmm? Heinrich Heinriching Saal, uh, Saal uh, of the Salia family has been crowned emperor by Pope Nicholas II, thus legitimizing his divine right to rule. Interesting. He is now the he's now being crowned at a very very young age, and his educator right now is Count Gentil of Pio Bocchio. Interesting. A bit soon for my taste, but all right. Okay, now arrange the army, Litma. We are not the leader of the center, and uh, not a leader of the center. Yeah, let's see. Um, what did I wanted to do? I wanted to do something. Yes, I wanted to, to seduce someone. Now, you could argue that this is not really um, characteristic because of his zealousness and his temperateness. But I think that we will probably need some woman who is without any husband at least. Well, on the other hand, that doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, actually, this does not make any sense. Yeah, no, this doesn't make any sense to make a bastard our next ruler. We as a strong believing Catholic. Yet we just need our woman to make us another child. Oh boy, this will be a very, very stressful age. Marques Odon of Saluzzo has created the title Marquisiate of Saluzzo. A Marquisiate, interesting. Uh, now we I have half the points. Let's march then on to Prignitz and get this little um, province, which is actually Slavic. So our court chaplain has something to do. And he's not happy with us. Why isn't he happy? This is arbitrary, hunchback, envious. Oh. So let's destroy the army of King Guchalko or High Chief Guchalko. Let's destroy his army. Uh, this war, this opportunity to prove my mental in combat has opened my eyes to my true potential as a warrior. My personal combat skills are improving. Great. Now we will siege this out. And the siege leader shouldn't be us, actually. Let's make it Lima because he is actually a sieger. Uh, fort level siege leader. Yes, this is, yes, this is... Ah, yeah, this is great. Because the siege leader gives us plus 40%. That makes it siege out very, very faster. It's been banished. Uh -huh. Interesting, interesting. So he's gathering his last uh, his last strength, but together with the Duke of Saxony, we of course are way too strong for him. Okay. Yeah, and with that, we will make it a bit faster to get it at the end of the episode. Yeah, with that, we successfully conquered which, uh, Putlitz. Putlitz has fallen before me and my troops have collected everyone found within. I must now decide the fate to the unfortunate. And we will, of course, take everyone as a prisoner to get the spoils of war and just going to sell them off right away. Great. So with that, we, of course, make a lot of profit. Actually, also historically, a, a kind of way of uh, business. Because back in the day, they actually always sold off uh, their prisoners of war and even captured people just to get the money from them. 
interestingly enough. Um, oh, this isn't good. No, he shouldn't be there. This is not good. I don't have legalism one. What? Has a law as title has at least limited crown authority. Oh. Now, yeah, we don't want him there. Let's see. Can we make a little plot for that? No. Why not? This holder. Hmm. Why can't I? Since revoking via plot. Oh, is a valid barony and county held by Mark Luthor. Yeah, this isn't good. Yeah, we will have to figure that out in the next episode. But with that, we conquered now Prignitz and secured our, um, at least our Duchy of Nordmark. Uh, even though... Yeah, we, we, we secured it basically. Because now we hold at least 50% of it. And he cannot just usurp our title. Yeah, but there are a lot of things that we have to worry about. Uh, our succession, our, our entire realm. But with that, I have to say goodbye to you. And we'll see us in the next episode.